If you smell any gas at the front of your RV, you may have a gas leak on your tanks, your regulator, or one of your hoses. In our case today, we have a leak on our regulator, and I'm gonna show you how to replace it. All right, so what happened here is when I put down the cover, the, there's the little selector uh, switch right here. I broke that off, snapped it off, and it started leaking gas. Um, and we noticed that. So this valve is obviously, it's ruined. So I'm gonna show you how to take care of this. So first thing we've got to do is make sure there's no gas on, and that's by shutting off both tanks. And then go ahead and take the bracket off that holds the tank down and put that to the side. And disconnect the hoses off of both tanks. And easy thing is just to just to move the tanks out of the way. There we go. And that, that frees up the valve. Just pull straight up on that valve off the uh, the all thread. Once we have it to this point, we're going. I'm going to go ahead and undo this fitting down here on the gas line to the camper. And grab on that, and that's actually fairly loose. There we go. And that's a 3 8 fitting there. So we got this loose. We'll go ahead and get our new valve. They already have two fittings on it that's ready to go. You can purchase these with the hoses already on them. It's, it's not a big deal. I just wanted to save a few dollars. Um, there's nothing wrong with our hoses, so um, that's the way we're going to do it. Okay, I'm going to take my first fitting. I'm going to grab on to where you can see it's orange here. And then I'm going to grab on to the other brass fitting on the unit here and go ahead and take that off. As easy as that. Okay, those are off. How I determined our regulator is, this is a unit that has uh, two outlets, one for each tank, a selector switch, and um, some, some units may just feed one tank. So it all depends on what you have. And uh, so that's, that's how I just, I just basically picked it on those parameters. We'll have the link down below um, for this unit and for another one with the hoses already attached. Okay, so these, uh, these gas fittings have a fitting that has a, a flare to it on this side and then in, the, in this side it's uh, beveled. So what happens when you screw this together, that makes a good tight seal and that's brass on brass. So what we're going to do, we're not going to use any pipe compound for this. We're just going to screw that in and make sure it's fairly tight. And we're going to do the same thing for the other side. Okay, so our new hoses are on. They don't face the right way now, but I'll train them to go the other way. So the next step we're gonna go ahead and do is hook up the uh, outlet 3 8 fitting uh, to the camper. And for that, we're gonna need uh, some pipe joint compound or thread tape, whichever you, uh, whichever you have. I have a thread compound here, and that's what I use at work for all gas fittings and, and water fittings. And we'll have the link down below as well for that. And so you're just going to take that, kind of smooth it over the fitting. There's no need to get it inside. You just put it on the outside. And you're going to take your new control or your new regulator. Spin that around on that fitting until it's tight. Then you'll take your pliers and you'll just snug it up good and tight so on the outlet here um, the regulator what it's going to do is going to knock this down to about three pounds or so uh, so there's not a tremendous amount of pressure on this side of the unit so after that we're going to go ahead and slip them on bring our tanks back up slip that down there now I'm not going to put the bracket all together. I want, to, I want to do a bubble test on this first, so I'm going to go ahead and attach the fittings here. And 
Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the arrow, select this tank first, turn that on, and the, uh, the glass, the red on the glass just disappeared so I know I'm on the correct tank. So what I got is just a, a bottle of spray bottle of soapy water, just regular dish soap. I'm going to open that up. So right now I'm pressuring from this point, this point to here. And I'm just going to look for bubbles. And not seeing any. So that's a good sign. So I'll take my selector switch, rotate it to the other tank, turn that on, and do the exact same thing. Just as I was ready to put this all back together, I noticed a few bubbles coming out down here around this fitting here. And I could actually hear this right here. So you can see that it's bubbling out. That's why you use the soapy solution. So I'm actually going to have to replace this line here. This one is okay. I don't have any issues with it. Double check. That's all good. So this is the only one I need to replace. I'll order that off Amazon. And of course we'll have the link down below for that as well. So I'll go ahead and order that part and I'll show you how to replace that. All right, we have our new hoses from Amazon. Uh, shipping was just, just a couple days. So we'll go ahead and slip that on and make sure the gas is off. Undo your coupler. I'm gonna take my pliers, I'm gonna grab onto the nut, the brass nut that came with the valve, and then the nut that is on the hose itself and just un undo the hose okay these hoses um, have a bevel to them this is called an inverted uh, flare and there's also a flare inside of this fitting as well on these you typically don't need to do any pipe thread compound um, it's because it's brass on brass and with the flare on this side and the male flare on the other side they join up together and make a uh, tight fit so I'll go ahead and slip that new one on. Okay. And just snug that up nice and tight. You don't want to overstress it. And then I'll just take my hose, which is a whole lot more flexible than the other one was, and tighten that on. I'll do the same thing on the other side, but uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and turn this on right now. I'll take my soapy, actually this is just a Windex or glass cleaner. I'll spray the fittings. Now if there's any leakage at all, it'll actually start to bubble. And so we're right now we've got a, uh, a tight fitting, no leaks, so we're good to go. I'll go ahead and do the other side and we'll, we'll finish up. Okay, everything is finished up. Everything's been uh, tightened and finished and tested with uh, soapy uh, water and uh, everything's uh, leak free. So we're all good to go. So you kind of got a video today on how to actually just change the uh, hoses if they're leaking and change the regulator. So I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you have any questions, just comment down below. I'd be happy to answer you back. Thanks for watching DIY on the house. If you would, subscribe or give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks.